गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ सनराइज इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल माई सेल्फ मिसेस मीनाक्ष डोले टूडे वी विल सी वर्कशीट नंबर फिफ्टीन इन अवर इंग्लिश ग्रामर पोर्शन ओके नाउ वी सी री राइट द गिवन सेंटेंसेस यूजिंग फुल स्टॉप और क्वेश्चन मार्क एज रिक्वायर्ड जहाँ पर भी रिक्वायर्ड है वहाँ पे फुल स्टॉप देना है या फिर क्वेश्चन मार्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी रीड दिस सेंटेंस आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंड दिस सेंटेंस and use the full stop and question mark first is i have some work i have some work so this is only statement this is simple statement so we use last is full stop only i have some work you have to write as it is same as you have to write same this sentence and write full stop in the last of the sentence then number 2 sentence is हुज पेन इज दिस हुज पेन इज दिस ये पेन किसका है हुज पेन इज दिस सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सो आई राइट लाइक दिस एज इट इज दिस क्वेश्चन एंड लास्ट इज क्वेश्चन मार्क वी यूज क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके हुज पेन इज दिस हुज पेन इज दिस एंड लास्ट इज क्वेश्चन मार्क नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन हिज कार इज इन द गैरेज His car is in the garage. This is the only simple statement. So we use last is full stop. You all are write the write this sentence in this line and take the full stop. Then when do you have your exam? When when means kiva ya kab? When do you have your exam? Aapke exam kab hai? So this is the question. So we use question mark in the last of the sentence. So you have to write this all sentence here. and take the question mark number b rewrite the given sentences using capital letters comma full stop and question marks so as required we use comma question mark and full stop also in all these sentences i read first sentence i want as ice cream so first letter is not capital here so i write the first letter is capital you have to write i is capital then after want an ice cream then same as it is okay only first letter is capital i want an ice cream and last is full stop because this is the only statement this is not a question she is watching television this is also statement but we have to write first letter is capital this years is small this is small so we have to write capital s and last is full stop number 3 who is writing a letter so i write here who first letter is capital w h o who is now writing w r i t i n g who is writing a letter l e w t e r who is writing a letter this is the one question so we have to draw the question mark in the last of the sentence then where is my book this is also question so we have to write take the question mark and first letter is capital then smita clean her room this is the only statement so we take only full stop and first letter is capital my parents are from delhi this is only statement so last is full stop and m is capital then n is capital and last is only full stop then you have to solve the test number 3 also test number 3 is first is fill in the blanks in the given statements with suitable prepositions from bracket suitable prepositions from brackets the ball is so given the two preposition here between means which me on means over the ball is on the table on so we write here on mohan plays dash in mohan plays the garden so under or in under means niche in means andar in so we use in in the garden first is on suhani is sitting dash the door near or into into means andar near means pass me so we write near preposition near means pass me she is standing dash the bridge she is standing that 
she is standing dash the bridge so we use preposition under or in we use under under means niche bridge ke niche wo khadi thi bridge means jo pool hota hai my handkerchief is dash the cupboard in the cupboard or under the cupboard in in means under okay then after fill in the blanks given below with a and or the this is the article okay a and the we use the correct article i want dash apple a is vowel so we use an article here then number 2 dash earth revolves around the sun the earth we use the capital t the earth revolves around the sun small t then i have dash packet of chips a uh, because p is consonant she has an umbrella u is for will so we use an there is dash river near my house so you have to write this one rewrite the sentences using capital letters full stop comma full stop and question marks so we use in this sentence comma capital letter full stop and question mark also you have you have to do this all sentences because in the worksheet number 15 we also about learn this so you have to write this worksheet number 15 and test 3